Kokira, okay, uh, let's open. Fakataka te ho kite uru, fakataka te ho kite tonga. Kia ma kina kina ki uta, kia ma tara tara ki tai. Ehihe akeana te atakura, he tio, he huka, he hohu, tihe moldi ora. Ki ora koto, ena mana, ena reo, ena rao rangatira ma, a tena koto katoa. Ko Sarah Williams toko ingawa, ko roto ao e te orititanga, ke te amoranga maturanga matua e mahiana. No rera, tena koto, tena koto, tena koto katoa. Well, good morning and sincere welcomes to you all from wherever you are across the motto today. Um, as I have introduced myself, uh, my name is Sarah Williams and I have the sincere good fortune to be part of the wonderful people in the Learner Success Team at the Tertiary Education Commission. And joining me today um, alongside our speakers is my colleague Jordan Powell. Jordan will introduce our speakers shortly and you will meet her then. Now, some of you who've been part of our capability sessions in the past um, will be aware that they have been very capably and um, uh, amazingly handled by the uh, wonderful Veronica Pritchard. Um, Veronica, unfortunately, is very unwell today and can't join us. So we're very sorry not to have her with us, but we promise you that Jordan and I and our speakers will take you through a fantastic session. Um, Great to see so many of you online with us today. Um, you'll be able to see for yourself the numbers we have. Um, so this is exciting. So this is the first of our targeted learner success capability sessions. And these are where our sector colleagues, our own New Zealand experts, share their knowledge and their journeys and the practices that support learner success. So thank you all for coming along today to be part of the learning and the conversation. Uh, just to note that this session is recorded and when you registered you did let us know that you were happy with that or you let us know if there were any issues but do bear that in mind with any questions or discussion. At the moment as you've come into the session as a participant uh, or an attendee rather um, your microphones and cameras are disabled but they will be enabled in time for the question and answer session and you can pop any questions that you might have in the meantime in the chat. So I'm going to be opening with a few slides just to give a background and overview of these sessions and what we're focusing on today. And I'll then hand back to Jordan to introduce our presenters and facilitate the question, uh, question session today. Following the presentations, there will be time for questions and answers before we close. So I will just take us into a very brief overview session just to give us a little bit of framing for our starting up today. So, what are we talking about today? Well, obviously, um, today's session is part of the uh, Tertiary Education Commission's um, learner capability sessions that we've been running throughout the year. And these are sessions, as we've said, that are about knowledge building to better connect the sector and help people have those great insights that we all need to, um, to learn and to you know, know what we're doing in the work that we're doing and to learn from each other. Um, Sessions that we've had to date have focused on the capabilities that make up the learner success framework. But as I said, this is the first of our targeted sessions and it's designed to take a really deep dive into areas of practice that we know are important to you. And we know that there's a lot of good practice, but also a lot of questions that get asked and things that we all want to know. So our session today is disability data. But before I provide a little bit more framing around that, for those of you that might not be familiar with the um, with the uh, the learner success framework that we're using. Um, this is it, um, you know, it's, it's a large framework, um, pops up behind my head. Um, it has seven major sections and they are people, culture and leadership, data and technology, guided pathways, holistic learner supports, um, learner centric systems, teaching and learning, and um, then we take and partnerships. And they all sit within this learner success framework that we've developed specifically for the New Zealand context. 
Um, these are the things that we believe that tertiary organisations need to get right, the things they need to be good at to have really effective learner success and ensure that learners succeed. So today we're talking about data and issues around collection and use of learner data sit within capability two, the data and technology one, but the use of data informs all our capabilities and all of our conversations and all of the things that we think about when we think about how do we become learner centric and learner focused organisations. So today, target is focus for today is disability data. We're all aware that when we interact with organisations, especially those that we learn with, borrow from, get health support from or live in, they want to know things about us. And most of the time what they want to know is relatively benign. But sometimes the information that organisations want to know about us is really personal and it's, and it's precious to us. And when we share this more personal data, this data that, that feels richer and more important and, and you know, maybe more sacred or, to us, we want to know that it is being looked after and cared for and used in the appropriate way. We want to know the organisation that we're sharing it with is only collecting what's needed and that they're using it as needed. So in the tertiary education space, when we want to know how we support disabled Arkonga, our disabled learners, how can we make sure we are using our data in the right way? If you have ever wondered about that, you've ever had any thoughts or concerns about that, you've got questions you wanted to ask, you are in the right place. Because today we are really lucky to have um, amazing presenters with us from two organisations, the University of Otago and the Te, Hung Te, Te Kohangareo National Trust. And they are going to share their organisation's journeys and practices around disability data. I know you'll get a lot out of the chance to learn from their experience. And I will now hand you back to Jordan, who will introduce our first speaker. Thank you, Jordan.